Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with meteorologist Ed McIntosh. Welcome back to the new news. We showed you the graphic showing the cold front bringing that pan, uh, chance of showers down from Canada and already we're starting to see the effects with some of the clouds from Great Falls North along the high line up into northwest Montana. Temperatures are mainly in the 60s to 70s across much of central and western Montana and then 70s to 80s across the eastern plains already. It's pushing up to about where we were yesterday and pretty typical weather for this time of the year. Last night we did see some storms that developed through southern Montana northern Wyoming. We showed you some of the rainfall totals that we got in. They were scattered across the region. Now we're going to get at least the chance of another round of showers as this next cold front moves in. But behind that, it looks pretty dry in the short term. So as this disturbance continues to move in and increases the cloud cover for this afternoon, we'll watch for readings to move back to the 70s and 80s. Very similar readings to where we were yesterday, but that chance of storms does start to develop across the northern portion of the state through the late afternoon and evening hours. Tonight into tomorrow, some of that energy is going to move across the eastern plains of Montana. So even during the morning hours tomorrow, we could be looking at showers and thunderstorms moving out of eastern Montana. Montana and into the Dakotas. Temperatures will back off as that front moves through and highs will only be in the 60s across much of the extreme eastern portion of the state, the eastern third really, and then 60s, 70s across much of central and western Montana by tomorrow afternoon. And even by late in the day, western Montana, you'll start to see the effects of that front move through the northwesterly flow and then a ridge of high pressure wants to move in behind it. So suddenly temperatures begin to warm and all of a sudden, we're in the 80s to low 90s by the end of the day on Sunday, and that ridge looks like it's going to hang around. This is going to create some fire weather conditions through southern Wyoming down into Colorado and keep us very uh, stable as far as the northern portion of Wyoming and then most of Montana. Now, the air isn't going to dry out that much. Typically, when we start talking about these readings moving up into the 80s and 90s, you'd figure things would be fairly dry, but some of the moisture in the atmosphere will stick around. The high pressure area it will keep it from developing into much in the way of storms until possibly all the way into next weekend before we start to see something realistic in terms of bringing a little more precipitation to the surface. Temperatures today will be mainly in the 70s to 80s across Montana and northern Wyoming. It will be looking at a mix of clouds and sun. More clouds to the north where the front starts to sink in. More sun across southern Montana, but there will be some breezy conditions across the eastern plains as well. Tonight, a chance of showers and thunderstorms across basically the northern half of the state starting to dig down into the eastern portion of Montana. It's going to be a bit quieter for you in southwest Montana. A few isolated storms could develop. Tomorrow we're mainly talking about 60s across northern and eastern Montana and then 70s across areas of southern Montana and northern Wyoming. A few exceptions could hit some low 80s where the cold front doesn't dig quite that far down into Wyoming. Temperatures the next couple of days dropping off pretty much everywhere for tomorrow. Looking at scattered showers and thunderstorms in western Montana, but drying out and warming up on Sunday. Areas across the uh, Great Falls, Helena, north central Montana sees a pretty significant drop in the temperatures around Great Falls for tomorrow. Butte and Bozeman, 70s and then 80s around Sunday. And then also seeing that warming trend after a cool day in the eastern plains tomorrow. There's the weather. Now more news.